So if you look at my YouTube posts, you'll probably know I don't post way too often. I have things to do like my schoolwork and piano and way, way <laughs> other things, so I'm sorry if I can't upload all too much. And now that that's out of the way, let's get to the video. Oh my gosh. Hey guys, so if you've heard of the new update to Mechabricks that added the camera object and don't know how to use it, then you've come to the right place. So, if you remember from a while back, the camera was built into the rendering tab and really had nothing to do with the workshop tab. Because originally, if you wanted to render something, it was all just built into the rendering tab, but it's not all really like that anymore. As you see on the toolbar at your left, you'll see a camera icon. But I first recommend importing a model or making a model for testing reasons. So click on the camera icon and it will bring the camera object into the workshop. Then you'll see that in a little box at the bottom right, by default, you will see the camera's view, which is called the preview. And if you want, you can select the camera and click select target, and you can click on any piece and the camera will lock to that selected piece. But overall, you'll just want to move it and rotate it until you get something you like. If you want a tip, you can click on the lock camera to view to make the camera see whatever you see in the video. And then you can scroll down and make the preview of the camera bigger so it's easier to see what you're doing. And when you're done, you can click on the button again and deselect the camera. You can look around the workshop to find that you will see the camera object. If you select it again, you will find that in the preview box that it will be the same. So if you're finished and like what you see, you can go to the rendering tab to render the image. If you look in the camera section, you will see that you can select the camera that you want to use for the render, and the reason is that in some cases you might have to select the camera because you can have multiple cameras in the workshop at once, but I'll get back to that a little later. But for now, if you want to render, select the camera, and voila! You now have your render ready, and now you can change any settings if you want to, and you can hit that glorious oh, render you. button. <laughs> And then you can download your render and live a happily ever after. But wait, there's more. So like I said earlier, you can have multiple cameras in the workshop at once. So if you have a model and want to say make an animation and want to have multiple camera angles, then you can do that. Just click on the camera icon again and you'll have another camera. So now when you want to go render the image, you can go to the rendering tab and select the camera view that you want. Pretty neat, huh? But the other thing is, if you've ever used a software called Blender, you might understand how this works. In Blender, you have always had to get the camera object and manually move it to your liking, and you could switch to what the camera sees, which is likewise in Mechabricks preview box. So I just wanted to say that if you use Mechabricks and Blender. Anyways, I think that that's the video. I hope this was helpful to those of you who are still trying to figure it out. Thanks for watching, and while you're still on YouTube, watch some of my other videos to keep you away from boredom while you're quarantined. And always, have a great day. Bye!